Hey guys, I'm your host, Julissa Raquel, checking in at the 2019 BMI R&B and Hip Hop Awards. And tonight is all about Grammy Award winning singer, songwriter, and actress, Brandi Norwood. You may know her best by her 90s love and heartbreak anthems or her hit reoccurring role on the sitcom Moesha, The Game, and currently starring on Star. Make sure you guys keep it locked, SheMagazine.com. A lot of artists, a lot of actors and entertainers, you've been able to accomplish a lot. What has really been the staying power for you? Well, I don't know how else to say this, but um, I just, I'm not a person that gives up. And I've felt many times that I, that I should stop because, you know, it's hard. I started really young, but I'm not, I'm not, a, yeah. not a person that doesn't sit down. So just keep going, keep moving, keep, keep running. Well, the night, of course, is about you. We're here tonight at the BMI Awards <laughs> for you to celebrate you. Can you give us a, a moment in your career where you knew that you were on the right path or something that just you knew that, you know, the, the path that God had for you was right and that you were doing the right thing? This is the moment. I feel like that today. I feel like this is the moment where I know I'm on the right track. I know it for a fact. Just from, just, just that, yeah. that, like that yeah. right there. It's just you guys Amazing. and this honoring. I know that I'm on the right track and this is such an inspiration for me to move forward and keep doing and never giving up. Congratulations. Thank you. I love you guys. Inspired. Checking in with Kia Shine here tonight for the 2019 BMI Awards and tonight is all about Brandy Norwood. Yes, you know, I want to be down. Yeah. What? I, I, I just want to hear who, I want to hear her do that or at least somebody do it for her. That's my right. junk. You know what I'm saying? She has so many hits, hits after hits. How Film influential MTV. do you really feel that she's been to not only R&B but also, yeah, entertainment? Yeah, just definitely what I'm saying. Like, when I look at Brandy, it's not just a I want to be down singer. It's like, okay, it's Moesha. Yeah. It's, it's, and, and and latest season of Star, you know yes. what I'm saying? I got a chance to play, you know, in the Star with her. Yes. Uh, congratulations. I hear you have new music dropping I tomorrow. I do. I have new music. Everybody's like, Tasha, when is your song coming yeah. out? So tomorrow's the day, everybody. It's called 6-4, and I'm so excited about it. So yeah. what's the little, what's the insight behind the title 6-4? Well, 6-4 is about a car, and it's about freedom. Being in the car, dropping yes. the top, just having a good old time with your girls when you're just kind of kicking it. Yes. So I kind of wanted to keep that spirit alive, even how Escape came into the business. Yes. So just keeping it going. I I know all my other group mates, they've dropped um, singles, yeah. and so now it's my time. It's, it's, it's my time, time now. Time, time. <laughs> yeah. And you know, you're new on the scene, and a lot of people are really messing with your music. You know, what is the impact that you're hoping to really leave on the industry? Uh, my impact is called crown yourself, man. I, I believe in life. You know, you can't wait for other people to crown you and tell you what you are. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta crown yourself. You gotta take it, own it, and grow into it. So I believe in just like growing into your own calling. I love it. Crown yourself. How important do you feel that you know our black women continue to be not only celebrated on the forefront, but also on the behind the scenes, the producers, the managers, the promoters. Um, you know, you're one of the biggest Hollywood promoters and the only female one I know to do it like you do. So you know. How important is it for us to build each other up as a sisterhood? It's really important, and it's important for us to just keep the charge going, you know, yeah. be focused on the bigger goal at hand, what's important in our communities, our loved ones, our generation, and being a positive inspiration. So I think that sisterhood is important, and even those, you know, private conversations that we have with one another and yeah. those public big ups, because mm -hmm. I'm big about that, too. I think it's all really important. Yeah. And um, tonight, everything is all about Brandy Norwood. You know, yeah. how influential has she been to not only R&B, but also the entertainment yeah. industry? Oh, man, detrimental. You know, for somebody to always wear a smile on their face, for somebody to always be a light in any room yeah. that she's in, and to know how great she is, yeah. and to understand that the world just is incapable of truly understanding what she's actually doing yes. with her voice. Yes, yes. amazing. People don't yeah. get it. They don't get it. It ain't for everybody, but <laughs> it's for me. It's for everybody I know. It's for all the real singers that appreciate good music out there. So, Brandy, we love you. You're beyond deserving of this uh, award. I'm just happy to be here. Yeah. How influential has she been to not only R&B, but the entertainment industry, because she's also an amazing actress? Man, just to see the light being shed on the, the R&B side right now, because you, nowadays you're hearing a lot of melodic sounds, and it's yeah. like, I right, where that sound come from? And I think now that the queens and the kings are now being put on that pedestal where it's like, okay, this is where that beautiful sound came from. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's glad to see Brandy handling her business, man. And, and, I'm, and I'm here to see her get honored. Brandy, right. you know, she's had a very long career. Mm -hmm. What would you say is your favorite Brandy song? My favorite Brandy record, probably the one with Monica. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the boy is mine. Yeah, that was a classic. It, what, did she, the did they write that about no. you? Oh, the girl is yours. The girl okay. is mine. That's your edition. Brandy is one of the 
not musical ghosts, one of the vocal ghosts, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, just I remember just growing up, man, listening to, I could listen to Full Moon all the way through. Yes. And these days, you know, you can't play albums all the way through, man. That's so very true. Tonight I'm here to just celebrate uh, Brandy and yeah. all her accomplishments Definitely. and uh, wish her continued success. Not a lot of people in this industry can see her when it comes to vocals. Yes. You know Definitely. what I mean? I mean, Definitely. like, she's, she's a singer singer. A singer. You know what I mean? Like, so you got to have that ear to really yeah. understand what she's doing. But she's a singer singer, you know, she... She's up there with the Kimberrells and, yes. you know, the vocalists, the vocal. you know. Like Brandy, you ha are definitely known for your love and 90s anthems, 2000s, really. Yes. Um, when can we expect some new music from Bobby Valentino? I just dropped an album last year. It's called uh, Electric. Mm -hmm. And so um, 2020, Valentine's Day, I'll be dropping a new album. It's called Sunday Dinner. Okay. And I know that sounds like a gospel title, but... Over Sunday dinner is where I get a lot of my synergy. I get a lot of love from my family and friends. We all go eat Sunday dinner with my parents. And, um, you know, I learn so much. So on this album, it's a lot of different conversations that we have Sunday dinner. I was so excited when I was watching the VMAs and seeing a familiar face. I know, I'm so <laughs> grateful. Um, my team has worked really hard on the creative with Missy for about a year and a half. and. They, um, they have magic together, so shout out to Mikey and Willie on my team who, they have her single. I mean, after her not dropping music for 14 years, it really, wow, like, I cried. Yes. I cried because I love Missy, and, and I, I don't know when too. she sees me as, you know, somebody who I look up to. I don't know if she knows how long I've followed her career, and, you know, she's just so beautiful inside and out, and... It's just fun, like the just women like being, it. women supporting women. Yes, I love it. What advice would you give, not only, to, I guess, to the artists, but the producers on just obtaining longevity in the industry? I mean, looking at it from that perspective and understanding that it's definitely uh, a career, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And it's going to have, you know, you're going to have some ups and downs. You're going to definitely go through some transitions. Uh, and it's very important to understand that you, you know, prepare for that. Yeah, you definitely. know what I mean? Sometimes I see a lot of, I mean, damn been here since 04 and you look to my right you know what I'm saying my dog Ludic was here but way before me you know what right. I'm saying um, and so I guess also just learning from that you know what I'm saying studying the greats and studying not just the greats but the people that came before you not being afraid to uh, respect that you know what I mean it helps you build and how do you currently feel about the state of R&B and hip-hop in general Everything's on a climb. You know, yeah. R&B, I love R&B, and I love the hip-hop, especially the Atlanta scene. You know, it seemed like we only took over from the west to the north yeah. to the, yeah, so it's, <laughs> it's like we're taking over right now, so I love it. So how does it feel to be in Atlanta tonight for the BMI Awards and they're honoring Brandy Norwood? Man, it feel great. It feel awesome, you know what I'm saying? And just to even be here to see Brandy get, uh, you know, with her, you know, her accomplishments and how it go, you know what I'm saying? It feel great. Yeah.